I'm Joe from Amico, and today we're going to tell you how to replace this foot pedal sub-assembly. This is the business end of your foot pedal. The new one will have these quick connectors, and instead of soldering, we will install these new quick connectors to the wire. To begin with, start by removing your sub-assembly. And there's no need to loosen the arm at this point. We can remove the sub-assembly. We're going to give ourselves a little bit more room by extracting the strainer leaf. We'll remove the strainer leaf. Give ourselves some wire here. Feed the wire back up through. We'll go ahead and remove the ground wire while we're at it just to give us a little bit more working room in here. Now we're going to snip these wires off. We'll use our wire strippers. Some people use a pocket knife. We prefer the strippers. You can get these at any hardware store. Good thing to have around. Once we have these stripped, we'll give it a little twist and we'll install the connector. And these are insulated, so you want to make sure you use the proper notch on your wire crimpers. And we'll test the connection and you put the opposite one on the other one and it doesn't matter which one you put where it will work either way as long as you use a male on one side and the female on the other side you want to test those and then your new one will just plug right in We'll go ahead and reinstall the ground. Install the ground. We're going to just just loose. We want to make sure that it's loose so it can move around while we're trying to finagle our wires back down here. And we'll I'm going to turn this a little bit here, as you can see. We'll pull the wire back through. And this is a little bit tricky. You want to make sure that you want to make sure that this end is engaged in the little slot down inside of there. Can you see that? See the little slot? Make sure our wires are there. You see the little slot down inside of here? Can you see that slot? And you want to make sure the end of this is engaged in that slot. And you can use a screwdriver to, to push the wires out of the way a little bit. You want to slide that underneath of there. push this down inside make sure that that's engaged you hold it into place and again we're going to put these screws in loosely and then we will tighten everything up when it's all finished make sure you don't have any pinched wires in there Tighten everything up here. And then we'll tighten that final ground. Make sure that we have good movement in there. Nothing binding, no wires rubbing. Okay, next we're going to put the strainer leaf back on. And you want to try and get it back in the same spot, but it doesn't have to be. And these are Haco strainer leaf pliers. They're made specifically for this, but you can use channel locks. But this might be a little easier if you have access to them. You hook it in there and give it a little push. Kind of there we go. And you want to check it out. Make sure that the wires are not binding in there or interfering. Make sure that they're away from the arm. If everything checks out, 
Now you can make your adjustments and be sure to check out our other videos.